Hello and welcome to the first video on the Flytrap Garden channel. Today we're going to be potting up some plants. We have some Drosera capensis and filiformis which are overpacked and aren't doing too well, so we're going to be repotting them. I've already pre mixed the soil. We have peat, silica sand, and a little bit of perlite. One full cup of peat, one full cup of silica sand, and then half a cup of perlite because I'm trying to get rid of my perlite and use the silica sand instead. So I've already mixed this up. I've made it quite a free draining mixture because the peat is not very chunky. This is probably one of the biggest chunks that is in this container. So we wanted to have more drainage because of the fact that it's going to be very absorptive. So what I like to do, I like to take some kitchen cloth and split it in half. So as you can see, It just covers the drainage holes at the bottom. So now I'm going to put some of the mixture inside. Trying to be careful so that the cloth doesn't move at the bottom. And then you want to compact the bottom as much as you can. This is just to allow the media to have good contact with the water so that it can absorb the water and suck it up into the rest of the media that will be above it. So as you can see, that's quite tight. This container is literally 90 degrees and it's still staying tight. So that's good. So now I'll just fill it up some more. And this is a fine for now. So let me get the plants quick. So this is a Drosera filiformis. It's not doing very well. No idea why. But you plant this one up. We actually gonna put all of the dress filiformis together because they were together in one pot before and they were doing fine. But after winter, they just didn't seem to grow back very well, which is probably a problem with the media. So that's why we are potting them. We have one, two, three, four, five. And this is dead, but I'm gonna plant it anyway because maybe it will come back. Probably won't. But the reason why I think that is because there's still some live roots here. So we plant them as well. So that's six plants. I'm just gonna make a small hole here with my thumb. Put the plant just at the height I'd like it to be. And then I'll fill up the soil around it. So there, that one is planted for now. And let's do the rest. I mean, put this dead one in the middle because it's most probably not gonna come back. And that would be the most efficient use of the space to have a big plant in each corner and there's kind of a live one in over here so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to fill up the rest of the pot actually i'm going to just cut off all these old old leaves there we go okay now i'll just fill up the rest of the pot with soil and just compacting it down a little bit So that's our Drosera filiformis Florida All Red. All potted up. 
Just put the tag back in so we don't forget what plant it actually is. And over time, the soil will settle more and you can always just top it up with more soil and the plants grow, will grow upwards. So you can just cover up as it settles and just give them some water. And there we have it. I'm gonna water this plant a little bit more, just in a bit. And then let's do this for all the other plants that we have. Here we have some Drosera capensis of the red form. I grew these from seed, all 20 billion of them. So let's take them out, just squeeze the pots, the sides of the pots like this. On all four sides. Get your fingers in there, turn upside down and it all comes out together. The soil still smells good, these plants are still happy and healthy. But as you can see there's just perlite in here. And I'd like to get some silica sand in because this stuff, this perlite is really not nice in my opinion. So when they're stuck like this, I like to tease them apart, just shake them in other directions. The roots can come loose. So here we have, what, three plants all stuck together. Just do that same technique, just to try to separate them because they're not from the same plants. These are all seed grown. So they are separate. So this is all just one plant here. This one's done really well by itself. It doesn't stop flowering either. So in total we have 14 plants from that one pot. With this one being the biggest one. So now I'm just going to cut off all the old leaves. All dead roots which there don't seem to be any just to clean it up a little bit because I neglect these capenses because they really but they're still very simple and here's the finished trimmed up capensis we're gonna have to do a lot of pots for these guys I'm gonna put the small ones all together and maybe two per pot so let's get started with that but first I'm gonna clean up all of the rest of them as well make sure that they all are free from old media and taking off all the old leaves
and here we go all of them ready to be potted up i'm gonna try to put the, the reddest ones together since these are red fences and not all of them are red you know just because of variation but the reddest ones will go together then the biggest ones and all the small ones will go together as well let me mix up some more media and let's do this I like to blow while I'm pouring the perlite so that the dust doesn't come near me. So yeah, we're gonna start with the red ones first. This one's quite red, as you can see, compared to the other one in the background. So we're just gonna go one, two, three, in like a triangle kind of formation. And you want to tap, tap down around the base of the plant, push the media down around it so that it can be tight, so it doesn't wobble. Make sure that there's soil in all those little crevices everywhere. And then just fill up the, the space that you just created with more soil. So these guys seem pretty packed. I'm gonna run water down them later as well. Always keep the labels at the front as well.
As you can see in this pond, the crown is a bit covered. Don't worry too much about that because when you water it, it will clean it out. And also, the plants will eventually grow up and push the soil out of the way. It's not a major problem. So that's all for today guys, thanks for joining me. Today we potted up some capensis and some filiformis with my soil mix that I like to use. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.